Welcome back, Marylanders. This channel is all about helping Maryland families realize the dream of home ownership. And today we're gonna to answer the question, should you sell your home as is, or should you invest a little bit of money and kind of fix it up before you put it on the market? Stay tuned. So let's be honest, we all have little maintenance issues around the house that we just never quite got around to. And you may be thinking, well, let's just lower the price a little bit, we'll sell the home as is, we'll let the buyer do the maintenance after they move in. But that decision right there could end up costing you tens of thousands of dollars in the long run. So for one reason, most loan programs such as the VA and FHA require an appraisal of the property. And it's a kind of a basic home inspection. And the appraiser is gonna walk in and make sure the property is move-in ready condition. So what that means is that it can't have any broken windows or any holes in the walls or leaks or any of these major issues with the property. If it has any major issues like that, it will not qualify for the loan and the deal can't go through. So one of two things is gonna happen, either the deal's gonna fall apart or the seller is ultimately gonna have to fix those issues anyway if he wants that deal to go through. Now many experienced real estate agents like myself can easily spot these little issues in a property that would disqualify them from an FHA or a VA loan. And we're obviously gonna tell our clients about that before we even put an offer. Before I allow any of my buyers to even submit an offer on a property like that, I'm going to advise them that this deal is not gonna be able to go through unless we convince the seller to fix that broken stair railing, replace that broken window, and fix the leak in the roof. So by having some deferred maintenance and some major issues with your property, you are discouraging many people from even submitting an offer on your home because they know ahead of time that when that appraiser goes to the property, he is not going to approve the home in its current condition. Another reason you want to take care of these issues is because moving and buying a house is a stressful process already. The majority of the buyers, they want to try to alleviate as much stress as possible and that includes buying a move-in ready home. Very few buyers that I work with are okay buying a home that has a bunch of maintenance issues that they're going to inherit. And you have to keep in mind that between 5,000 and 10,000 homes are sold in Maryland every single month. So the buyers have plenty of options to choose from. And when they see these little maintenance issues that they know they would have to take care of, they just move on to the next property. Or if they do choose to move forward with the home, they're gonna expect a huge discount on the property just to compensate them for the amount of stress and the work that they're going to put into to fixing up these issues. So another reason is when buyers see the words as is in a listing, they immediately assume the worst. They see as is and they think there must be mold and wood rot and water damage. That's the only reason somebody would sell a home as is, even if the issues with the property are pretty minor. And again, when there's five to 10,000 homes being sold every month, the buyers have the luxury of just moving on to the next property. Another thing to keep in mind is that buyers almost always overestimate the cost of repairs. So let's say you do need to get the siding fixed on your home. It may cost you uh, $300 to get a handyman out there to fix the siding. A buyer is gonna see that and immediately assume, man, that is gonna cost me $1,000 to get that repaired. They almost always overestimate the cost of repairs. And honestly, sellers almost always underestimate the cost of repairs. So let's break down some numbers real quick. So let's say that you did pay to get all new carpet installed in your entire house. Let's say that's maybe $3,000. And you paid somebody to give your house a fresh coat of paint, that's maybe $2,000. And you hired somebody to come over and fix the siding on your home, maybe 300 bucks. So you're all in for maybe $5,300 to get your home ready for the market. On the flip side of things, if you really need new carpet in your home and it's all torn up and has holes in it, and you need a fresh coat of paint and a bunch of little holes all over the place and scuff marks, and you put your home up as is, and you're essentially a few to make any repairs to the property, this could literally cost you tens of thousands of dollars. And I'm not exaggerating about that. It could literally sell for 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars less because you were not willing to put in that initial five thousand dollars just to take care of these simple little maintenance things and update the property. If you are thinking about selling your house, check out my video right over here about how to get your home ready to sell. I get a little bit more details about how to prepare your home for the market. And if you guys are thinking about selling and you're here in Maryland, I'd love to have a conversation with you. Find all my contact information over at thelawsongroupmd.com. And I'll see you guys over there.